different from the lot of ones you'll see because of the knobs. When you get to the real operating room, we're all digital, okay? That one's digital over there, but that's okay because we're still gonna go with it. So we make sure that it's plugged in, right? So we're gonna say we've unlocked everything. As you guys can see, the plug here is gone, but the plug would be here. You'd plug it into your outlet, preferably. You turn it on. You will hear that noise, okay? And then you're checking the preference surgeon's preference cards for their actual preferences for the bobe, whether they like 50-50, 60-20. And what I mean is coagulation and cut, okay? You're putting it to their specific specifications of what they like. So if in this one, let's say they like 50-50, I know that I'm gonna put coagulation level 5-50, cut 5-50, okay? Monopolar, bipolar, you'll know which one. If we're doing the foot switch, you have your foot switch here. If they like it, it also shows you cut and coagulate as well. So you're checking all the functionality. All right, access the patient's skin before application of the grounding pod. Ensure skin is dry and free of hair. Good. All right. Select the appropriate size. How do you PRE for patient skin surface? So we've selected the right size. Inspect package integrity. Check That's expiration right. date. I actually have one. It's not too old. Well, it's expired, but we'll say it's not. 2020. 2020. Open package and inspect before application. A lot of nurses like to keep these packages, so we keep these packages, okay? And we'll put them aside. I checked. Apply a PRE after patient positioning. So you guys are gonna kind of do it like that so you can stick it back on, okay? You're gonna place it over a large muscle mass near incision site. So let's say you were doing an abdominal incision. I'm gonna stick it here. String's gonna go down depending on where your bobe is going to be. This is gonna be important, okay? So let's say that you guys know I like my bobe to the back, so I'm have this down to the back. If you're with um, Miss D or Miss Z, she likes her to the top. That way the bobe's placed like there, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Now keep in mind, I have it like this so that we can pull it back off, okay? Um, I'm sure cord has adequate slack preventing pulling and displacement. So it's coming up, coming up. Check cable from end to end for damage and integrity of cable. I think everything looks good. There's no issues. And this one doesn't even have a spot for the There's no spot for the Oh, here we go. And it would go right here. Okay, remove PRE. Okay. Access skin underneath pad placement. Document the skin condition. So we're at the end of the case, yeah. drapes are down. So you're gonna pull this off and that's why you're gonna keep that one side. And we're just checking the skin so the integrity is intact. There's no bruising, there's no redness, everything's good. And that's the end of that lab.